Hello friends! Welcome back to Atika's Adventures. Come on, let me take you to beautiful Montana. Our trip started with a short three-hour flight from Houston to Salt Lake City. From Salt Lake City, we drove all the way to Whitefish Mountain Resort in Montana. This is just 21 miles north of Kalispell, where you can also fly into. That is just about 20 minutes away from Whitefish Mountain Resort. We stayed at the Edelweiss Condos in Whitefish Mountain Resort. Let me give you a quick tour of our condo. This condo has a fully equipped kitchen, which is perfect for us because we love homemade meals. There is a cozy dining area. And here is the view from the balcony. And let's head back inside. Let me show you here. We have a nice living area with a full sofa bed. And here is the first bathroom and it is right next to this cozy little bedroom that is perfect for two people. The king bedroom suite is located downstairs and it also has its own private bathroom. Now let's take a tour of this town. This beautiful town is a skier's paradise in winter. Whitefish Lake is a natural freshwater lake that offers many water sports. We decided to spend a relaxing day at Whitefish City Beach. We rented kayaks and had a wonderful time touring the lake. At the Whitefish Aerial Adventure Park, you can go tobogganing downhill, you can even go zip lining, mountain biking, or you can simply relax by taking the scenic chairlift ride all the way up to Big Mountain. Once you reach the summit, be prepared for breathtaking views of Glacier National Park and the Canadian Rockies, as well as the Flathead Valley. The ride downhill is equally stunning and you get beautiful panoramic views of the valley and Whitefish Lake. Another fantastic activity to enjoy in the summer is rafting on Flathead River. 
We went with the tours offered by the Great Northern Resort right outside of Glacier National Park. Unfortunately, no phones or cameras were allowed on the tour, so I couldn't film our rafting trip, but I highly recommend this activity. The rafting trip takes you through the gorgeous Flathead River, which originates in the Canadian Rocky Mountains and feeds into this beautiful Flathead Lake. There are plenty of water-based sports that you can enjoy on the Flathead Lake as well. If you visit between July to mid-August, be sure to try the world-famous Flathead Cherries and get your hands on some of the delicious huckleberry jam that this area is so famous for. These fabulous cherries are only harvested from July to mid-August and I must say that these are the juiciest, most flavorful cherries I have ever had in my life. Now let's go to America's crown jewel, Glacier National Park. Important tip, be sure to book your Going to the Sun Road entry tickets on recreation.gov several weeks in advance. It is nearly impossible to find any available tickets. I will be putting all the important information down in the description box below. Do check that out. The tickets are valid from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. We could not find any tickets, so we made sure that we got to the park before 6 a.m. We first stopped at the historical Lake McDonald Lodge that was originally built in 1913 and both beautiful views of Lake McDonald. Lake McDonald is the largest lake in Glacier National Park. You can take boat tours of the lake and also rent kayaks and motorboats to tour the lake yourself. You can also book the famous Red Bus Tour from Lake McDonald Lodge in the vintage 1930s Red Buses that are a Glacier National Park heritage. The Going to the Sun Road is a historical engineering landmark that dates back to the early 1930s. The Going to the Sun Road entrance from West Glacier, where we came in from, all the way to St. Mary Lake is about 50 miles. This whole route is incredibly scenic with gushing creeks and rivers, towering mountain peaks boasting glaciers on top, and breathtaking waterfalls cutting through the majestic mountains.
there are currently 25 active glaciers left in Glacier National Park. When the park was first established in the 1910s, there were approximately 150 glaciers. We wanted to hike the trail to the famous Hidden Lake from Logan Pass. However, the trail was closed that day due to increased bear activity. So remember, it is always a good idea to carry some bear spray with you when you are hiking in Glacier National Park. After all that sightseeing, it was time to have lunch. So we stopped at Lunch Creek and we had some homemade sandwiches at the creek overlooking the beautiful mountains. It was such a wonderful experience. As we got closer and closer to St. Mary Lake, we were astounded by the stunning turquoise blue color of this massive body of water. That little island you see surrounded by the lake is known as Wild Goose Island and this viewpoint is perfect for family pictures. St. Mary Lake is the second largest lake in the park and we decided to take the famous boat tour that starts from Rising Sun Dock. At the end of the lake, you can take a short and easy hike to the beautiful Bering Falls before returning to the boat and heading back. After the boat returned back to the dock, we headed back towards West Glacier Entrance where we had entered the park from. When we got to Lake McDonald, we decided to take a dip in the water and I must say it was a fabulous experience. Next, we did the Trail of Cedars Loop to head on to Avalanche Lake.
The Trail of Cedars Loop is a very easy one mile trail that is lined with gorgeous cedar trees, some of which are more than 500 years old, and you get incredible views of the Avalanche Creek along this loop. At the end of the loop, you have the option to hike up two more miles to reach the astonishingly beautiful Avalanche Lake. Do keep in mind that this hike is fairly strenuous and mostly uphill on a rocky dirt path, so be sure to carry a lot of water if you go on this hike and take some breaks along the way. Trust me, even though this hike is not the easiest one, the ending is totally worth it. The beautiful waterfalls gushing down majestic mountains right into the mirror-like avalanche lake. This place is so beautiful, it almost makes me sentimental. And the bonus was that we saw a cute little beaver swimming in this lake. It is so hard to leave a place like Glacier National Park without wanting to come back again and again and again. As we left a piece of our hearts in Montana, we were getting ready for our next adventure, not too far from here. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining us on our trip to Montana, and I will see you in Idaho next.